she a nympho I wanna fuck, baby, let me get your info Let me know what you wanna get yourself into Yeah, I know that you got some daddy issues How's it going, nerds? My name is Linkward, and in the last episode The Wi-Fi got cut off on the spaceship somehow I don't know how they had Wi-Fi in space or whatever they were using But they can speak freely now And we'll see if Erica will tell them the truth finally Who knows? Let's see her shoulders slumped as her mind wandered. I'm especially worried about Sarah. Her mental condition is too unstable. Revealing the truth may set her off. I'm not sure we'd be able to get rid of, get out of that one unharmed. In the meantime, I'll try to figure out the optimal way to relay the information. Well, maybe I'm just overreacting. Sarah can definitely be reasoned with. And Kotaha has been cooperative this entire time. Worst case scenario, I'm sure we could overpower her until she calms down. Erica sighed and lightly tapped herself on the head. I could really use some guns right now. How embarrassing. A sudden knock at her door surprised the captain. That's Come correct. in. Hey, hey captain, are you gonna take a nap? Oh no, I was just grabbing something I forgot. Hmm, okay, Sarah made lunch. You should come eat with us. She set some aside for you. Oh, and it smells super good. Ah, that sounds wonderful. I'll be right there. Thank you for letting me know. Of course. The door slid shut after Kotaha walked back into the hallway. Why is my heart beating so quickly? I shouldn't feel guilty. I'm only doing what's best for everyone. I hope, anyway. Anyway, I need to stop doubting myself. I must focus. She brushed all her worries aside and headed toward the door. After taking a final gaze at back at the PDA, she walked out the door and headed towards the cafeteria. They both seemed okay, emotionally, at lunch and supper. I suppose if anyone's emotionally disturbed right now, it'd be myself. Damn, what am I even thinking? Never mind, I'm running out of time. I don't want to stall us forever. I'll just tell them one at a time. It's the easiest way. Then the one I've already told can help e me ease the other. Assuming she will cooperate, that is. I'll start with Kotaha. I have not a single doubt that she is trustworthy. And I'm sure she'd be glad to help me out. Yes, perfect. It should be easy to talk to her by herself and as well. She tends to come to me without prompting. Alright, I'll put my plan into action starting tomorrow. Erica dropped her body on top of her bed. Softness and comfort of her mattresses quickly lured into a pleasant slumber. Slum slumber. Yeah, what was I thinking yesterday? Thank God I slept on it first. I have to tell both of them at the same time. I can't risk Sarah reacting badly to being told last. I need to come clean about everything. I don't want her to feel guilty any longer. She threw on her clothes haphazardly and headed towards the door. Erica fiddled around the central control pattern shortly after the microphone activated. Hello. Good morning. I hope the two of you are awake already. If you weren't, I apologize. I've had an important announcement to make. Please meet me in the lounge as soon as you're dressed. Thank you. After turning off the machine, Erica sighed. That was stressful. I thought I was going to hurl. Then again, I suppose that's just a testament to the fact that I've left my comfort zone for the first time. My Thank you for coming so quickly. Didn't Sarah turn off, like, in-room notifications? How'd she get a notification for it? No, thank you. Not like we had much of a choice. H hey! Weren't you going to cut down on the snark? Just being honest. It's alright. Don't worry about it. So what are we here for, anyway? Is there another malfunction somewhere? Are we going to suffocate to death? Oh my god! <laughs> Kotaha, please, calm down. That is not the case. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest. Originally, I was planning to tell Kotaha this first, and then the two of us would have told you later on, Sarah. But after I thought about it a bit longer, or at least how unfair it would have been. Hmm. At least you figured it out beforehand. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. Indeed. Yes. As I was saying, I have an announcement. As of yesterday, we lost connection to the S... The Earth's, the ESC, the Earth Survival Committee. They are, of course, the organization behind this flight and both of your kidnappings. Kota and Sarah both grew visibly tense. As you no doubt already know, Earth's resources are depleting quickly. In fact, the planet is expected to become uninhabitable within the next two centuries. The ESC was founded around 1,000 years ago in response to the upcoming, upcoming catastrophe. It is, for all intents and purposes, a worldwide collaboration between all countries. Despite that, it has been kept a secret. For these la past thousand years, they've worked with scientists and various organizations to find a way for humanity su to survive. It didn't take long before they gave up on hosts of us remaining on Earth. At this point, they began to genetically modify humans, making them durable enough to survive harsher conditions. Huh? Whoa, what? Huh? Where are they going with this? However, they found out that only women could properly adapt to the strain of the genetic alterations put in the emotional processing. In the end, however, they ex ex accepted that as success of its own, and they, want, they went on to spread many generations improving these women. The code name for these genetically altered women, by the way, is Blossom. The same as the name of the ship. Indeed. Correct. And every crew member on the ship is a Blossom. 
What? So, we aren't humans in the regular sense. It, is that right? If you were to hold a survey, I suspect that would be the majority's opinion, yes. We're more like an offshoot of humans, albeit an artificial one. Still, you've mentioned a mission several times in the past. What did the ESCs plan for us? Right. The main mission of the ship's blossom is to determine whether or not humanity can find other habitable plants, planets in their travel far enough into space. I was previously unable to disclose any of the information because, to be frank, they were simultaneously running several experiments on us, several of which strictly required for non-disclosure of any key information. If I had said anything, we all would have been killed instantly, and all mission experiments would have been marked as failures. Why is Damn. This happening? It's so hard to believe. Yes. It goes without saying that we cannot turn back, however. We will be killed if we so much as try it. It is with a heavy heart that I must inform the both of you that you are unable to meet with anyone you knew back on Earth. Sarah, I'm sorry. You will never see your fiancé again. Sarah's eyes welled up with tears, though she tried to hide it. I'm going back to my room for a while. Take your time. The doctor left the room without hesitation. Eh? Wow, I can't believe it. Um, you mentioned genetic modifications. Is that the reason I'm so heat resistant? Yes, that's correct. Mm, Sarah didn't seem to be like me, though. She was worried that I'd get hurt. Are there different types of blossoms? There are, yes. Your type is called the Desert Blossom. They can absorb heat at a rate that, fair that far surpasses a normal human. They can even survive small fires. What about you and Sarah? And how many different types are there? I don't mind telling you more later. For now, could you wait a little longer? I'm sorry, it's just hard to talk about this. I feel tired somehow. That's right. Oh, of course. No problem, Captain. Thank you for telling us. I could have went on without ever saying anything. and said you told us as soon as you could. I always knew I could trust you. Thank you, Kotaha. I'm glad you feel that way. Truly, I am. I was worried that you'd both hate me. I don't think I ever could hate you. Hey, why don't you grab? Why don't we grab something to eat? I'm super hungry. I won't bug you if you tell me any more. Okay? Promise. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Was it good? <laughs> yep. Really as usual. Thank you. You're welcome. It's no problem at all. Kotaha paused for a second before she rested a hand on her chin. Something on your mind? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about what you said earlier. Didn't mean to bring it up. Don't worry about it. Well, it's not cake, but I did prefer some dessert. Would you like some? Oh, dessert after breakfast? You bet your ass I do. Wait, what is it if it's not cake? It's a mixed fruit sorbet. Fancy, I like it, or I'll take it. Is it me, or was she having second of thoughts when she realized it wasn't cake? Well, whatever. It certainly was exhausting. Still, I'm glad they took it as well as they did. I'm sure Sarah will need some time to herself for a while, but this is still definitely the best case scenario. Kotaha didn't seem particularly affected at all, however, I'm just curious about that. Well, if she wants me to know how she's feeling, she'll tell me herself. Erica dropped into the bed. It wouldn't hurt to take a nap. I don't mind skipping a meal if it cures my tiredness. An unexpected knock at Erica's door nearly caused her to jump. C come Hello. in. Hey, Captain. Oh, were you about to go to sleep? I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was, but there's no need to worry. Do you need something? Er, by the way, I meant to mention it earlier, but you needn't call me Captain anymore. As soon as we lost contact with the ESC, our ranks were abolished. True. Well, if it bothers you, I'll try to stop. I don't mind. You've ah, it's well. okay. I just didn't want you to think we weren't equals, or anything. And hearing you say Captain was sort of growing on me. I must say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. I totally get it, though. You're one of the people of ranks who aren't corrupted like the majority. Not once have I ever felt like a peasant. A peasant? What is she talking about? Did she confuse peasant with slave? Was it on purpose? I'm so confused. I'm glad to hear that, Kotaha. Oh, right. My apologies. What is it that you needed? Actually, Kotaha blushed and nervously fidgeted. No I just wanted to ask if you'd play more some more of that RPG when we started together last week. Oh! But I guess it's kind of late. I forget that most people sleep around this time. <laughs> I do Come usually on. just sleep about now, but I can make an exception for you. Besides, it may just help me relax. Relax. Woohoo! All right. After she'd skipped around for a bit, Kotaha grabbed Erica's hand and let her out the door. Ugh! These ogres hit way too hard. Do not fret, Sir Knight. It will get easier after you level up a bit. The difficulty always spikes like this when you move to a new area, and. We'll be moving on to more new areas in the next episode. Don't forget to know your beautiful. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave it if you disliked it. Still give it a like. Go check out the Baka Bowl every Tuesday. And I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see with you all again soon. Please roll the outro now. Uh. <laughs>
So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B sample with a dope ass beat And get the mic check, all the levels right And if it's good then I'll be here for several nights Cause the only thing I need is a strong supporting team